Hey guys, this is going to be an unboxing and a review of the iPhone 4S. I just got it today. It's actually been opened. I've been playing around with it a little bit um, to see how Siri works. It's amazing. It's like awesome. I'm mainly going to do stuff on Siri because there's a lot of people that have already done stuff with um, iOS 5, which is basically what this is on. I'm mainly going to cover some of the newer features and stuff. So because it's got an 8 megapixel camera and 1080p and you can also go on Apple's website and look at the side-by-side -side stabilization videos and sh you can see the difference it's a, it's pretty good um, upgrade and stabilization so you open it up and no I have my old um, bullet shield cover on here I need to go get it, a new one on here I don't have time today I actually work I haven't slept so I'm gonna hurry and do this and upload it for you guys it actually had this on there it's got it on the back I haven't taken that off yet and the design is still the same it's nice because I have this uh, wherever the other piece went um, right here the Mophie juice pack plus or whatever so it's got a built-in battery so it's good that this still works on here so I am going to um, open this up now now you got your standard stuff here, um, headphones, cable, and bat uh, plug outlet. You open this up, and it's got pretty much the same stuff. Fingertips, iPhone 4, goes into more about Siri, I think, in there, and then your stickers which I think they seem more cheaply made this time. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But it's good that the box didn't get smaller. It seems like every time they came out with a new one, the box got smaller. And I just got text. Okay. But anyways, so here we go. I got a white one this time. And just real quick, I'm going to go ahead and stick this in here because I want to stick it in here in this Mophie case I had it in there but I just want to keep it protected first off I want to cover they have a new change in their um, Apple care you no longer like is what they told me um, is that you if you have any problems with your phone if you don't have Apple care plus they charge you two hundred and fifty dollars, and that's even if it's what they s I got from it. It was hardware damage, even if it's not hardware damage. But I got the Apple Care Plus. It's ninety nine dollars for a year, and that gives you two accidental damages, like if you drop it in water or breaks or anything like that. You get that twice, but then you also get the other um, care and stuff like that. And I don't know if it covers if it's stolen, but we are going to go into this here now. So first off, Siri, it's basically, here, let me do autofocus, okay. So basically, um, first I got my um, phone, you'll see it in the, my vlog if you guys watched it, but they bought, they got me the first one and it was defective, it would not charge because it didn't have a charge to begin with because usually you can just push this up here and turn it on. It wouldn't do that, so they had to give me a new one and re like activate everything. But since he had to switch the ESN numbers and all that stuff, it kind of like was lagging, and it wouldn't activate. So I had to wait like about an hour. But for Siri, you actually have to be connected to either Wi-Fi or 3G because it uses Apple server for like the gestures and all that stuff. And that way, that whenever there's new things they want to add to it they can just add it to this server instead of having to come out with new iOS updates which is really nice so you basically just hold it like you would voice commands now you, you do that but I'm gonna just cancel it real quick it will say how can I help you so like there's some funny things you can say to it like I'm gonna go like this and Siri I love you that's nice can we get back to work now? And you don't have to say Siri. 
Um, you can also, in your contacts, put yourself in as your number, however you want the name, and then it will recognize you as your name. Siri, I love you. You hardly know me. See, it says my name, but see, it didn't say it. It's weird. I don't get why it doesn't say. It. That's kind of weird. Maybe they'll fix that. Um, I I think there's two voices. There's a British voice and an American voice. I'm not sure how to change that yet. Um, or you can be like Siri, you suck. Now, now. <laughs> Um, let's do something like, whoops. Siri, I feel like Chinese food. I found a number of Chinese restaurants. 23 of them are fairly close to you. See, now you can go like here. These are all the restaurants, you know, and you just click it and it will call them. You can order up or whatever. That's really cool. Let's do, what is the weather for today? Here's the forecast for today. See, there you go. Now, if you have like an accent or something and you don't know good English or like say you have like a southern accent or something, sometimes it has a hard time picking it up. Um, so just be careful with that. Yeah, but um, there's the whole thing with iCloud. That's all been in iOS 5, so... I'm trying to think what else you can. There's some other sayings you can say to it. Um, so let's get into the camera here. I'm really liking Siri though. It's it's awesome. Now here you got options. You got grid, and uh, like HDR, which is before. Now this it just has a grid. I don't know if so you can like take evenly pictures or something like that done and if you look here I don't know if you can tell the stabilization you is better like I said you can go to the Apple website and do this standby I mean the side-by-side -side thing and it shows a difference um, the speed is quicker too so you can see me yeah you saw me there <laughs> um, it does 1080p recording so um, really good awesome um yeah just the overall speed is like I'll send text and stuff and it's really amazing what you can do I mean I'm just been sitting here with Siri and it's been awesome like you can go here settings you can tell it a certain command to get it to go to this and it basically highlights a blue link so you go to general and then you see Siri see so you go to English and these are all the ones you can get right here. English, United Kingdom. Here's where you change it. I haven't tried that. There's a German one. That's pretty funny. Um, so far, the language is like that it can translate. I think it's like it said it was French, Italian, German, and some other language, which was not Spanish, surprisingly, because that's commonly used. But then someone also made a comment that there's like so many different variations of words you can pronounce in Spanish so it's kinda hard and this is right now in the beta stage so yeah they're still like gonna be working on it and all that stuff so yeah this is pretty much it this designs the same everything um, just a lot quicker go here see it just pops up really quick I'll go to here and it loads really quick it's nice but basically Siri is like taking over what Google already does for you you can actually tell it to search on the web on hippopotamuses searching for on hippopotamuses <laughs> that's pretty cool see there you go and it brings up Google and here's a whole list of hippopotamuses, like information on them. There's a video on YouTube. So yeah, this is crazy. I mean, there's endless commands you can do. There's like stuff that you can say to it, you know. Someone talked about one, like a Star Trek one or something about, or Star Wars, like about opening a hatch door or something. Can't remember what that command is, but like 
it actually responds to that. And um, sometimes when you um, tell it to do something, like here, I'll for instance this. This kind of bugs me. Call mom cell. Which mother, mom cell or mom home? Okay. So I'll do mom what cell. Is your name? And then it says, "What is your mother's name?" Diane Croft. I don't see nurses. When is your mother shit Diane Croft in your address book? Okay, that didn't work. See, it doesn't. I'm telling it to call a number, and it won't like. Mom cell. Which mother? See. Mom cell or mom home? See, and I'll do this one now. Which mother? Mom cell. Which mother? See, it's like hanging Which up mother? here. I'll mom. do mom cell. Which mother? Okay, well I didn't tell it to call. I just call mom cell. Which mother? Mom cell or mom? What is your mother's name? Eugene Studemeyer. I just made that up. I don't see Eugene Studemeyer in your address book. See, and it doesn't do it. But see, usually I right there. When you either ask it to say mom cell or mom home or click it, you would think that it would try to call, but it doesn't. So that's kind of a little annoying right now. You got the notification here. Um, so, yeah. Um, <coughs> just a really good overall phone. It's like seven times faster than the iPhone 4. The battery's still the same. Um, but yeah, it says you get 4G like speeds. And this was for Verizon. Oh, one thing I do want to clarify. Let me take this off. If I can. Okay. These phones, they do not have like a separate one for Sprint, a separate one for Ver or separate one for Sprint and Verizon, and a separate one for the um, AT and T or whatever. They're all one. Whoops, sorry. Zoomed in. They're all one phone. As you can see here, I am on Verizon. You can see right at the top. And there's a SIM card spot right here. So you can actually, with Verizon and Sprint, um, after, well, at least for Verizon, after 60 days, you can actually get this phone unlocked through your carrier. AT&T is not offering that. I do not know why. That's kind of weird. But, yeah, so, and I don't know about Sprint if it's 60 days or not. All I know is for Verizon, if your account's in good standing um, and you've had it for 60 days, you can get it unlocked. So, that's pretty cool. And then in November, they're supposed to have no contract phones that are unlocked. So, you can just buy it outright. And for this, it's, I got the 64 gig white. That would be $7.99. And then it just goes down from there. But if you do it with a contract, it's one ninety nine for the sixteen gig, two ninety nine for the thirty two gig, and three ninety nine for the sixty four gig. And like I said, you have to get the Apple Care. I thought they said that you could, it has to be you could do it within ninety days, but the lady there that helped me, she says that you have to actually get it as you buy your phone you can't get it after so um, and they changed the whole thing because it's not they're not as lenient now um, even if there's they, what she, she was getting like she was telling me is what I heard from her is that even if it's a hardware issue and it's not like physical damage you still have to pay two hundred and fifty dollars if I am wrong you guys please post a comment but that's what she was basically telling because I asked her that so even if it was just a hardware issue and she said, yes, you'd still have to pay 250 So make sure you get Apple Care Plus because they're not going to be lenient now. We're like, oh, I have a problem, and they'll just do whatever. So make sure you get that. And that's pretty much it. This is the iPhone 4S. And, um, yeah, really nice. Excited. Play around with it a lot more. So um, if you haven't gotten one, you can pre-order one online. But you're going to have to wait to get them. Some stores might still have some left over. I mean, I there was only like another person like that I know of in the line that was getting Verizon. There might have been more, but I was the first one to get the Verizon one, and it didn't work. So, yeah. So, pretty cool. Um, this was an interview, 
and an unboxing of the iPhone 4S. And if you're wondering what the S stands for, they say speed. Like I said in my vlog, it really stands for Steve Jobs. So, nice phone. Worth the upgrade from the 4. So, um, yeah, go ahead and get one. If you guys are wondering if you should get it, the speed is quicker. Um, overall, it's worth the upgrade. And they might not even have another one coming out till October because... They might have it in June. I, I don't know. I'm not sure yet, but I'm just saying they someone was saying they're trying to like make it so the iPods and iPhones are going to be at the same time now. So like in like October and stuff like that. So yeah, um, hope you like this review. If you want to know anything else about it, just let me know. Um, I'll do another video or something or um, I'll answer your questions in the comment box below. Bye.